Assalamu alaikum. The topic that we are going to discuss today is walima and I will explain it to you in simple terms. The wedding reception which is called walima is derived from the Arabic. It was the tradition of the Arabs where people were invited and came together to have a meal. Later the term became exclusive for the wedding banquet or feast to commemorate a marriage celebration. The marriage feast of walima is a sunnah of our beloved messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is a public announcement announcement of gratitude and pleasure and a great means of publicizing the marriage which has been greatly encouraged in the muslim community in an authentic hadith the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said may allah bless you in your marriage perform a walima even if it is only with a goat the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself held a walima after his marriage he provided meat bread on the occasion of his marriage with Zainab bin Jash may Allah be pleased with her and the occasion of his marriage with Safiya may Allah be pleased with her he served a type of sweet dish cooked with dates cheese and butter therefore walima is a sunnah and is strongly recommended there is no difference of opinion between scholars as the prophet ordered it and practiced it himself but it is not necessary or wajib in the opinion of most of the scholars now the question is when to have the walima the scholars have disagreed as to the correct time of the walima there are various opinions for example one at the time of the marriage contract second after the marriage contract and before consummation of the marriage three at the time of the wedding procession where the bride leaves for a husband's house however the majority of the scholars of the opinion that walima is a meal that is prepared after marriage has been consummated this was the practice of a messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if anyone had a walima before consummation of nikah it is hoped that one will gain the reward of the sunnah inshallah The question that some people ask is what is the duration of the walima or how many days should it be held for The Hanfi school which is more prominent in the Indian subcontinent is of the opinion that a banquet of up to 2 days will be considered a walima after which it will not be considered a walima scholars mention that there is a need such as not being able to invite everybody on one day then it will not be wrong to invite them on separate days now comes a very big question who should be invited for the walima abu huraira may allah be pleased with him states that the worst food is that of a walima where only the rich are invited while the poor are not and he who refuses the invitation to a walima disobeys allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is a hadith from sahih al bukhari it is recommended to invite family members relatives friends associates scholars pious people and others it is wrong to invite only the rich people or those who are regarded to be from the upper class abdullah ibn umar may allah be pleased with him narrates that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if one of you is invited to a walima then he must accept the invitation many scholars regard the acceptation of a walima invitation to be binding and one will be sinful for refusing it in the hanafi madhab the preferred opinion is that accepting a walima invitation is emphatic sunna or the sunna al muakkada and accepting other invitation is recommended or mandub this is in normal cases for if there is a valid reason one will be excused from not attending this finally it should be remembered that simpler the walima and the marriage ceremony the better it will be at times people spend thousands upon thousands in feeding people a sum which can be used for other indispensable needs of muslims if the intention behind spending so much of amount is to show off in the community then this this will be regarded as a grave sin well the whole idea in a walima is to feed people with sincerity and simplicity if one feeds people with simplest of meals but it is from the heart that is far better than feeding them with exotic or expensive food where the intention is not so sincere aisha may allah be pleased with her narrates that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the most blessed nikah is the one with least expenses hope you have all benefited from my video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you are notified of my future videos assalamu alaikum and have a blessed day